Hi Aries, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We're going to do your uh, singles read. This is a general reading. So take what resonates and you what does not resonate for more accuracy. Reach out for personals on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Details are mentioned down below. I also do white paper spells and we have manifestation, intention, charge, high vibrational crystals. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on your sign. And follow my Instagram for upcoming Feb horoscopes in short. Check out my Hindi channel where I do all the Hindi videos for you, all those interested. Don't forget to subscribe to both my channels, I Enigma and I Enigma Hindi. Let's see Aries, what are the messages for you? Okay, the singles are there. Hmm. Okay, yeah. The instant thing that came into my mind is that there's someone that is secretly watching you and is not got over you. There's someone that is definitely into you and has not forgotten you. Okay, you may be feeling like they might have forgotten you. It's all over and you're moving forward. You definitely are moving forward in your life. You're definitely seeking a new beginning in your life. But what you don't realize or what you don't, what, what, surprises you in the coming time is that there's someone that's still stuck on you and is secretly watching you i feel like they are not able to come forward neither are they able to move on from you but they're secretly watching you they want to be a part of your life they feel like a loser now and they cannot face you for what they did in the recent past aries I feel like right now you're just working on self-healing, coming out of the destructive past and moving towards excitement, new opportunities. I'm seeing new options are coming into your life. So you're preparing yourself for that and you're healing yourself so that you can just simply be where you are, be in the present moment. I'm also seeing that you have a lot of new opportunities where you will be making good money you have new job offers, people are hiring you, you may also expand your work, whatever you're doing, if it's a business that you're doing, it will be expanding. You learn to manage a lot of things, a lot of different tasks and be successful in all of these pursuits. Some of you, there is a Taurus around, there's a Pisces around that is wanting to reconnect with you but cannot face you for what they did. Okay, for some of you, this is a Scorpio. Okay, and then we have the world, the temperance. Hmm. Okay, and then we have this uh, death card. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. I feel there has been an ending with a Scorpio. Like, I'm done with it. I don't want your drama anymore. I'm just giving up on you. That's what your energy has been. If it was a Scorpio, don't forget to check out my another channel, which is I Enigma Scorpio, where you can check out your Scorpio placement. If you have Scorpio placement, you can check out that based on that. Or if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you can check out my Scorpio channel. Don't forget to subscribe. What I am seeing over here, uh, Aries, is definitely, definitely the... Uh, there's a life-changing experience that's coming. You've started a new cycle after this ending. I feel like this transformation was much needed. You're actually moving towards a new beginning. There's a transformating phase, transformative phase. There's a change in your personality. There's a change in your life. There's healing taking place. And you're like, I'm not focusing on the past anymore. You smell past definitely trying to come back. You know that... Um, what I'm telling you is absolutely right that there is definitely someone from the past wanting to reconnect with you. You can feel that. But what you're not ready for is not going back, uh, is not ready for is going back to the past. You don't want to go back to the past. So definitely a new chapter has arisen. And I feel like the biggest part over here is that Aries, you become established or you are becoming wealthy. I feel like there's a lot of money that you are making, you're saving, you're investing, you're not spending, you're not overspending. It's like more about input is, uh, you know, more than what you're spending. Okay, so you're learning to save and take care of your money. And I'm also seeing it's rising. There is like... You know, whatever you've been putting, a hard work you've been putting all this while, you're getting that result. 
okay you're seeing that the seeds have ripened and grown into full-fledged tree that bears fruits so you have received a lot more than what you expected and you are living a luxury life you are becoming so independent in your own energy that you really do not need this person or anyone to guide you or control you or make you feel fulfilling because you've made it happen for yourself Aries you're independent and you're well established and you're successful not rich but rather very rich so I feel that's where your uh, movement is Okay, that is where your journey is. So you started from scratch and I, you, I see you becoming wealthy. You're able to make decisions for yourself. You're not relying on other people. So you're able to make self decisions. Okay, you become more um, disciplined. And you know that what you want in your life and what you do not want in your life. So you know and you're happy that you made the right decisions in your life all this while. Okay, that's why you're becoming successful. You have a person that's watching you that is a competitor of yours and is not finding a way to become successful. This is a co-worker. This is someone that's working under you. This is someone that you really trust. I feel this person is trying to create problems in your life. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I feel you may have to know that there's someone that you totally rely on or you expect that this is your good friend and that you can share your you know, money with them or your life with them or your some information with them you might be at risk okay there is someone that is not happy with your growth okay that's a lady and i feel like that person is waiting for the right time where they can bring you down okay and where they can snatch your money or they can snatch your position so be careful of such a person i feel like they are not getting that success that they want and that is why they are lurking over you and then we have the hermit there are a lot of major arcanas which tell me that there are major 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 changes in your life taking place that are leading you towards self-awareness maturity and happiness i'm feeling like you have found yourself in such a place where you don't really need company where you just need your own company because you're happy wherever you are you've achieved a lot you've learned and you've risen from the ashes and makes you feel satisfied right now you just want some space and want to just look back and see how much you've grown all this while and you know respect yourself and just um acknowledge yourself that's what you're, you're doing right now so Aries you're not you're not in a rush to attract someone or be with someone you're not in a rush to you know be in a relationship you're simply enjoying your life at your best I feel there's someone that's coming into your life but it's going to take a little bit of time where this person is you're going to meet them on your way okay okay we have four of cups I feel like there's someone from the past that is crying over you and feeling deeply rejected and hurt and is trying to, you know, or is waiting on an offer from you. They think that you will definitely reach out. Someone is having, someone is sitting with this expectation that you are going to reach out to this person. Maybe this is a cancer, but there's someone that's definitely... Uh, has been deceptive in the past but is not able to move past this okay they're waiting on your message or a call but what you are doing right now Aries, is you're like uh effort i'm moving towards my new beginning i have a lot to do in my life you're simply enjoying your own gifts and you're putting it out and you're showing your talents off you're being uh you know recognized for your work there's appreciation coming in so why why look back that's what your energy is so you're very happy with this new beginning and you can wait for the new love to come in you're in no hurry that's what you're talking to universe okay but i'm definitely seeing you have someone new coming in in the near future three of pentacles you might have this person coming into your life either in three days three months or three weeks but i feel like for some of you this is someone that you're working with or you might get into a partnership or team work with that's the person you guys will start you know dating but i'm seeing this is beautiful this is like a beautiful connection it's gonna be like there's an age difference for some of you, but it is something that I feel like is going to be extremely uh, cordial. You guys will have a cordial bond with each other. This person will do a lot for you. You will realize why. You will wonder why is this person always doing things beyond, you know, 
normal like they're just going out of their way to help you out in certain things and you'll be like why is this person doing this for me it's because they want this new beginning it's because they want you it's because they're in love with you again and they want to take things towards a magical magically towards new beginnings i i feel like this person sees you as a dream come true and they're about to propose you i feel like it might take like one month to three months but i'm definitely seeing this as someone that has been that you already know but you guys are on a professional terms with each other for some of you it's like someone that you're talking and working with but there is no potential interest you see or there's no potential love you see but i'm definitely seeing one thing that you guys are uh going to receive a proposal with this person unexpectedly okay and i feel that's how your life is about to change maybe this is a libra gemini aquarius but i feel like they're definitely wanting to you know take things forward towards um you know deep relationship deep care because they think that you're their soulmate they think that they you're the one for them they love you the high priestess this could be a pisces okay oh my gosh there's a pisces that's secretly watching you and is not feeling fine of you moving ahead in in your life and finding someone else there's someone from the past that definitely is wanting you back but cannot have you back but is seeing you watching you and wondering what's going on with you this person may also be asking some readers astrologers like what's going on with my aries okay what is going on with your life especially whether you have found the one or not because this person is like right now wanting you so desperately but i'm seeing yes you are uh going to be with uh, someone new and this new person will make all the efforts to turn things around magically you will be surprised like from where did this proposal come you were not expecting that okay so yeah i feel like there's someone from the past that's obsessively thinking about you and feels a spiritual bond with you but cannot connect with you because they did you wrong you definitely are attracting someone that's wealthy what else oh my gosh this person is quite rich and i feel like this is someone that is at your workplace and they've been watching you and really appreciating you for the focus that you're having towards your you know towards your life purpose how focused you are and how passionate you're doing your work how passionately you're putting your efforts into your work some of you could be 34 your person is but i'm definitely seeing that they are watching you and wondering how you're you know you're doing so much for yourself with so much of optimism in your life you you appear extremely positive and optimistic to this person okay free yourself deception so i'm right now seeing that yes you finally are getting rid of this past person that has deceived you and i'm also seeing you letting go of the past thoughts or past uh traumas that still affect you or somewhere make you feel like why did this person do this to me or do that to me i'm seeing you letting go of the past finally not looking back at all and i'm seeing you more focused about this new person coming into your life you're ready to wait but you're not ready to look back and i'm also seeing you feeling extremely positive because right now you don't feel tied down to someone okay anymore you have disconnected yourself from the past person you're letting go of the control issues you're you're opening up to new love and giving this new love a chance okay in relationship you are not trying to fix things okay anymore and you're setting yourself free and embracing whoever comes into your life okay and wants to get to know you so here adversities um as i was telling you there is someone at your workplace that is trying to you know trying to get your positioners or is keeping eyes on you like they don't want you to succeed they may act like they are your friend but they don't want you to succeed they don't like your freedom they don't want you to have freedom of speech there's someone that is stopping you controlling you from being free with your thoughts and with your ideas with your stuff so yes i am seeing that these are certain some little challenges that you might face in your workplace it's also because you're honest and you speak your heart out and you're not worried about how others will say or think about you know so okay this is what i'm getting 
unwanted things are leaving your life and now you're ready to embrace new opportunities and possibilities in love career whatever you're seeking okay then we have orphaned okay there's a change coming into your life i feel like you've finally found out that this is not your soulmate the one that you were dealing with and it's that person you left is now feeling abandoned and is feeling bad for being deceptive towards you but there's nothing that you can do about it it's over that's what you were conveying to this person but i feel like the past person they're feeling abandoned okay and they want to tell you that they miss you. Sixth sense. You know you know who I'm talking to you about. You know exactly who I'm talking to you about. Because your uh, intuition is guiding you. Intuition is already telling you that this person is thinking about you. Sensing that. You're feeling that you're being missed by this person. And that they want you. Open up. You guys, I feel like number four, you will see a lot of number four. That means the past wants to reconcile. If you're seeing a lot of number fours here, that's a message for you, okay? And then what I'm seeing is right now, Aries, you've started to be your own self. You're not you're not depending on people. You're not being a people pleaser. You're not like uh, keeping uh, others' happiness before you. You're started to think for yourself and live for yourself. And you're open to your thoughts and ideas about things. You're not, you know, you're, you're not closing yourself down because someone said so and so. So you'll be speaking your heart out. That's something that I'm seeing. Or you're doing something. There's a work that you do where you are actually um you actually have the you know uh chance to live the life of your dreams like the work that you're having right now you can you, you know you have the opportunity to do that work without any questions without any judgment so you're using your uh, you're moving with your you know passions you're moving ahead with your passion you're living your life passionately and there's no one that's like stopping you or controlling you so you're you're just loving your work and you're liking that you're busy as well okay your work might involve you involve you speaking okay maybe that work involves where you speak or it's something to do with healing it's something to do with law it's something to do with somewhere that you're practicing okay confidence is the key to your success so you will definitely become successful because aries are naturally confident and when they want something they'll go for it so peaceful resolution unlikely i'm seeing that there will be a conversation with the past person they will definitely reach out you guys will talk to them they will be them trying to justify you that why they did this or why they do they do that but you're not going back in the past you're still telling them that you don't want them anymore okay i'm seeing like whatever challenges you're facing at your workplace it is temporary let's see the signs that are coming in for you aries we have leo Then we have Virgo. Yeah, these are some signs that are coming in for you. Okay. And so I am going to do Aries to Pisces, your person's feelings towards you from Aries to Pisces. Aries towards Aries, please. They want, they think that you are their soulmate. And they want to marry you. And they want to take this forward towards a new beginning. They're so happy to have you in their life. Taurus. Taurus is obsessing over you. They cannot sleep at night. Because your thoughts are simply killing them. Gemini. Okay. The Gemini is missing you. Even if they have someone in their life. They cannot stop thinking about you. They want to come back. Cancer. Cancer is moving ahead, I feel, towards you. This is someone new. Then we have Leo. Leo is wanting to have a new cycle in their life with you. They think that this can go a long term. They're very infatuated uh, by you. 
and then we have Virgos that person has been obsessively thinking about you the way you look your sophistication is something that's making them want you so bad uh, then we have Libra Libra is feeling bad for having done you wrong in the past okay Scorpio Scorpio is uh, having a huge crush but they want to take it slow this person is more um, more I feel like shy or reserved I feel but there's a message that's coming from a Scorpio okay then we have Sagittarius Sagittarius is finding it difficult to move on from you okay they've been thinking about you but they know that there's no way back and Capricorn is really happy to have known you. They want to, you know, they, they want to date you. They want to tell you how you make them feel. There's a strong pull that they feel towards you. Aquarius. Aquarius is wanting equal give and take. They're obsessed with you, but they're waiting on you to see whether you like them or not. Pisces is definitely looking for other options. They think that let's seek out other options and see which one is better. Yeah, I feel like someone from the past is literally wanting to hear a yes from you. Now, it totally is your decision. It's not my decision whether you want to go back or not. But I'm definitely seeing this past and this new person that you'll be deciding between. So these are some letters of your person. Okay, and I'm seeing your life changing abruptly. There's a lot of changes taking place, major, major changes with these major arcanas. Um, someone's from Delhi. Someone's from Willy Vallo, something like that. Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Okay. Italy. Um, UAE. America, Pakistan. West Indies, something with W. But I'm definitely seeing you're like this flower, always positive. That's how you appear. And people really like your energy. So they want to be around you. That's about it, Aries. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment. And let me know how this resonated. I'll see you again. Bye.